Today is Mother's Day and our guest chef, Sylvester Nair, has prepared a menu in honour of all you special ladies. So sit back and enjoy. Today in light of Mother's Day, I'll be cooking a few of my mum's favourite dishes. Growing up in Durban, seafood was always widely available and always fresh. So today I've chosen to do a seafood paella with my mum's twist on it. After that, I'll be doing a bit of a pasta salad, still with a Durban kick to it. So for my seafood paella today, my main ingredients are mussels, king tiger prawns, some seafood marinara mix, amazing calamari, and truffle oil. I'm just gonna drizzle that into a nice hot pan. After that, we're gonna go with some onion, We're gonna add some mixed peppers, some tomato. So we're gonna keep all the ingredients together, all in the pan at the same time, just so all the flavors can come out and also blend together, different acids, different textures coming out. So next up, a bit of coriander, nice little helping of that. We're gonna add a nice helping of garlic as well. Garlic and seafood, absolutely amazing. It takes any salty sea flavor away from it but it's fresh, so there's not much of that in here. And then one of my other favorites, definitely chili. I put a bit of olive oil into my fresh chili, blend it, let it ferment for a little while. It becomes extremely hot and we all love hot. Okay, I'm gonna give that a quick mix. Normally you would want everything to get a little bit soft and cooked, but today I want it to be soft to the touch and crisp to the taste, so I'm gonna start to add in my seafood now, starting with my mussels. We're gonna do that flesh side down so the flesh can cook first. When you add those mussels in there, you get that beautiful ocean flavor because there's that salt that's just sticking to the mussel shells. I'm gonna go in with some tiger giants now. I'm gonna keep them whole so when you're eating it, no one's gonna miss out on a big prawn. So you're gonna pop that in. So the mussels are looking absolutely amazing. Nice orange color there. You don't wanna keep them on their flesh for too long. They're also gonna get a bit rubbery. So I look at that. These prawns are looking absolutely amazing. Nice and plump, fresh. So I'm gonna go in with my seafood mix. In general, I'm not really a big fan of crab sticks. However, it does add an amazing flavor. So what I'm gonna do with them once they're in the pan is crush them up a little bit so they disappear. I'm gonna give that a mix because that's gonna take literally 15, 20 seconds. So while that's going, I'm gonna increase the heat a little bit. That's looking amazing. I'm gonna add some calamari. Now I'm not gonna let the calamari cook for too long because then it's gonna turn into rubber. I'm gonna give that a quick mix. Even though it's one of my mom's favorite dishes, I'm gonna add the famous mother-in-law masala. Some nice turbocharged Indian spice. A little bit hotter than all other curry powders. I'm gonna do a touch of cumin in that as well. Cumin's gonna add a nice, smoky, nutty flavor to the dish. I'm gonna top that up with some lovely chicken stock, just to add a bit more flavor to that. So I've just added about half a cup of chicken stock to that. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a quick mix again, just to get all the spices into it. I don't wanna burn the spices too much, they're gonna affect that amazing flavor of the seafood. Okay, so I'm gonna add a bit of coriander. Perfect time to add in the rice because the flavors from the prawns, from the mussels, from the seafood mix, everything's in this liquid that's been going for about two, three minutes now. The rice is gonna soak even more into that. So I'm using cooked basmati rice. You could use brown rice, you could use risotto. Okay, so we're gonna give that a mix. You don't want to cook this dish on a high heat. You rather want to do a low to medium. Cooking seafood on a low heat in general is quite a difficult process. However, if you follow all my steps, you should be A for away. So that's almost done. I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna start up with my pasta salad, which won't take us too long. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this over. I'm gonna blanch my pasta. So I have this amazing rainbow linguine, which is an Italian pasta. I'm gonna drizzle that with some olive oil. I'm gonna let that go for seven minutes. I'm gonna julienne the manch too. Nice thin slices. You don't want to cook it for too long because you're going to keep it nice and crispy. On the baby marrow, you want to create a flat side so the baby marrow doesn't roll around while you're cutting it. So that'll prevent you from cutting yourself. And then the technique we use in the kitchen not to cut yourself, you keep the blade against your fingernails and you make sure your knife is really sharp. Your measurement will be your fingernails that are against the blade. As you can see, they're all more or less the same thickness and that will also allow for even cooking throughout the process. I'm gonna just split those in between. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil into the nice hot pan. 
We're gonna drop that into our pot. I just wanna get some color on this. There's natural sugar inside. Green vegetables are absolutely healthy for you. If you're a diabetic or you suffer with sugar problems, you get a nice mix. So you just wanna get some good color on that. Gonna add a touch of garlic to it. Nice touch of coriander. Gonna add a bit of cumin to, to our mix. It's gonna add a nice smoky flavor to that. This pasta salad can be served with your seafood paella. So fresh pasta takes seven to eight minutes to cook because it's fresh, it's already soft. You can drop that straight into boiling water. It's not a general technique to drop pasta into half boiling water, but if you want to, the cooking process will be a little bit faster. That's looking good. I'm gonna do some black pepper and salt in that. Not too much, because you don't want to overpower this dish. We already got some strong flavors, which is the garlic and the munch too. My pasta looks ready. I'm not gonna strain this and cool it down. I'm gonna put it straight into my pan, just so the excess water on this is gonna create a nice sauce consistency, not too thick. That smells absolutely amazing. It takes me back home. The only difference is I'm actually cooking it and I'm not in the dining room waiting for it. As you know, Sunday afternoons, you wanna chill out, you got a nice pasta, a nice paella. You definitely want to have something to wash that down with. I'm going to make an amazing mocktail. And the only side effect in that mocktail is happiness. I'm going to grab some ice to start off with. In my mocktail, I got some very cool special ingredients. So I got some elderflower and mint syrup, some grapefruit syrup, some tomato cocktail. And we're going to top that up with some Tabasco, lemonade, and a bit of black pepper. So I'm gonna start off my mocktail with some ice. I'm gonna add some elderflower syrup. We're gonna add the pink grapefruit syrup. I'm gonna add some tomato cocktail. Just a touch of Tabasco. Then we're gonna shake that up a little bit. Since it's Mother's Day, you have to give it a little bit of a dance there as well. I'm gonna add some black pepper to that. I'm gonna put that at the bottom of my beautiful glass we have here. We're gonna top that up with a nice ice cold lemonade. So we're gonna finish that with a sprig of rosemary. Last but not least, ah, happiness. Seeing that my pasta is nice and colorful, different textures in there, I decided to use a black bowl today so that can scream with the color. It's gonna scream with the flavor once you start eating that. That's gonna be very simple plating on this. I'm gonna put that nicely into the center. We're gonna finish that with some nice Grand Pandano, which is a matured Parmesan cheese. A drizzle of truffle oil. And to finish that, some nice pea tendrils. I'm gonna move that forward and I'm gonna start plating my seafood paella. I'm gonna try to get my rice down first with the calamari and the other soft ingredients. The last thing you would want any of your guests to be chewing on a muscle. So I'm gonna get all the soft pieces down. My crab meat, my calamari, the tentacles, the rice. That's gonna allow you to dig into the dish nicely and then pick up the prawns and the mussels from the side. So I'm gonna go and stir with my fingers here. I've been cooking all afternoon, so it's uh, clean. You can use the muscle as a spoon as well. You can see these prawns, they're nice, clumpy, full of flavor. I'm gonna drizzle that again. Truffle oil, some nice chili flavors going on in there. I'm gonna spread some pea tendrils around that. Here we have it, two of my mom's most favorite dishes for Mother's Day. A beautiful drink to end off the day. Here's to mom's days off. Happy Mother's Day to all of you.